I promise I'm not trolling. I'm not trying okay. to start this narrative. But it's about the Golden State Warriors. And I want uh-huh. to point out that they are first by a mile, I think, still in defense. Are they not? They have the top overall net rating in the league. And the other thing that yeah, their offense ranks highly, but they have the best half-court offense in the NBA right now. So this question feels stupid. Do they have enough secondary shot making to be this big of a threat in the playoffs? And look, they have won the non-Steph minutes, which is absolutely huge. And their offense has crept up to closer to league average in those minutes, by the way, 107.5 points per 100 possessions. That's the 42nd percentile. I will 100% take that when Stephen Curry is not on the floor. I think it comes down to whether you believe it, and it's not even a Clay Thompson question for me. Do you think Andrew Wiggins and Jordan Poole are enough to shoulder that burden? And if you say yes, is it mostly because of how the Warriors play? Because you don't look at them as when they had Kevin Durant, there were situations where it was like, all right, we need that guy to just go and get a bucket. They don't play a type of style where that's necessarily what you ever look for. At the mm-hmm. same time, I do think it's it's an element, a dynamic of, of an offense that you need once you get to the playoffs? So I think that's a great question. I think, I mean, coming into the year that, well, there were a lot of questions because who knew like what Otto Porter or Nemanja Bielitsa or any of these guys had, if Iguodala had anything. Um, but the, the shot creation behind Steph Curry was a huge deal. Um, and Poole has been the main, you know, sort of guy who's addressed that. Um, and we, you know, he and Wiggins, I think both had 30 the other night when Steph had a bad night and they won. And then Poole had another 30 when Steph had 12 points against, I think, Toronto. Which help does Steph need? God. Well, that's the, so that's the answer that, or that's the question. That's so actually- <laughs> if, if you're talking, if you're talking about like, do they have enough with just these guys? And we'll, we'll just say Clay, Clay's not a shot creator. He's a guy whose gravity facilitates shot creation elsewhere on the floor, but he's not you have the ball at the, at a dead stop at the top of the key and you have to make a thing happen. And he's, like, he's he'll not probably that. be even less. So that player oh, yeah. now, unless you're he posting was, him up all the time or something. He was, yeah, he was a functional pick and roll guy and he could throw a quick pocket pass. And, but that was like, it was mechanical, not great. Yeah. I'm ruling him out. I, I, so in a playoff series, you're only going to need eight minutes, you know, 10 minutes of like serviceable shot creation when Steph's not on the floor. And if you have a really good defense, which they do, and I think that's very sustainable, um, your bar for how many shots you need to create and how efficient you need to be with those shots is even lower. So I, I guess I'm saying that the answer is a qualified yes, but only, and it's not like, oh yeah, I think Pool is the second coming of CJ McCollum, very different players, but just the idea of a guy who's like, he can kind of hold it down for, you know, several games at a time if Dame Lillard is out type of thing. Like, Poole is not at that level yet, and he's a very different type of player. But Wiggins can get you a slightly below average efficiency shot, like, whenever you need it. You know, he can get to his off-the-dribble two-point jumpers. He can, you know, go get fouled. There are ways for them to score. Uh, And I think just because they don't need very much and they have a little shot creation, I think I feel pretty good about saying yes they, they they do have enough um but obviously you know it it's it, you'd like it to be a little you'd like the answer to be like an unqualified yes but i think you got to have like a couple of little qualifiers on there for now this has been a common refrain throughout this podcast i agree with everything you said <laughs> with that said i it is still giving me pause if the question is are they prohibitive title favorites right now and i'm just not at the mm. point I would still consider Milwaukee, Brooklyn, and Phoenix over them. I'm not, I wouldn't definitely make that my answer. Right now, I think Phoenix probably comes closest to me wanting to put them over the Warriors, but it's iffy enough of a proposition for me to to think about it that way. That's still, you know, they might be an Alec Burks away from being the prohibitive yeah. title favorites, which is not the end of the world. And you can still win a title if that's your defining flaw. Yeah. I think too, you might, you could make the argument like they've got a, they're like 11 deep and really more than that. If like Jonathan Kaminga has played in short bursts and had like a handful of like, Holy shit, this guy can do some stuff athletically. Um, he's been playing more than Moses Mooney, which is kind of surprising. I think to a lot of people, um, but you might see more from Kaminga as the year goes on. But the point I'm making is they got like 12 guys. So 
they're really well equipped. You could put a dozen guys on the floor right now and like get something out of them in a regular season game. And that doesn't mean anything in the playoffs. You need eight, you know, you, maybe you can get away with seven. And so I think there's a case to be made that the Warriors, especially because they're so hard to scout and they play so differently than every other team are kind of a regular season monster right now. Cause like, you're just not going to be ready for them. And they just have ridiculous depth of like, this guy's pretty like Gary Payton. The second has won them, you know, changed games for them. And he's there. Well, I don't know. 10th guy, maybe he's an eclipse um, with hands. He, he, so yeah, we talk about Herb Jones. Like you can't dribble around Gary Payton. It's like not allowed. <laughs> <You're> not, <laughs> he, he, it's, it's, it's strictly against the rules. Um, they, but yeah, he, so, so I, I think, I think a regular season they're I, I think they're going to win the most games in the league. Um, and I, I don't know. I think I agree with you that they're in the class of like, yes, this team is a contender, but to say that they deserve to be at the top of that list, like with a gap between them and two, three, four, I'm not, I'm not there yet either. You've also mentioned the great point about they don't really have the ability to shorten their rotation when they're at full strength. They can, but it's besides Steph, Dre and Wiggins. Who's the player you have clay coming back from injury. So it's not going to be him. Like what is the 35 plus minutes per game? fourth player on this team if you get to that point right i mean that's a real question because it cannot be iguodala damian damian lee's real real good 15 to 20 minutes he's not your 35 minute a night um clay's not going to be there that's that's really a good i mean you might look at them i don't think they're going to do anything um but they they look like a team that is kind of ripe for a consolidation type of move like i don't know what packaging a bunch of minimum salaried vets that are pretty good gets you but the minutes somebody's going to need to eat, you know, when this rotation shrinks, someone's going to need to play a lot more. And they, they, that's a great observation. They don't have a lot of like auto Porter's not going to play 30 minutes. He can't do it. Uh, and physically Jordan Poole might give Steve Kerr a heart attack. If he's playing 35, plus Dr- Draymond green might strangle him on the floor. <laughs> like that, I, that's a problem. I couldn't bring myself to ask this question as we wrap up about them, but mostly because I don't have an answer to it. Has their start made it more or less likely that they would make a consolidation trade because there's the element of, yes, there should, you know, you can win the title. Now you should make that move. If it's available, then it's also like, we have the best record in the league. We don't have clay yet. We don't have Wiseman yet. 